In this video, we are going to learn about the reward distribution system of the Helium network. In particular, how much HNT is awarded for different kind of mining activities. And then we will discuss about the effect of August halving on HNT earnings. Hey folks, this is Roy and welcome back to my channel, Eigentech. Alright, let us start by checking the current statistics of the Helium network. For that, you can go to the explorer.helium.com and you will find that there are about 103 helium hotspots currently in the whole world. The current market price is about $14.3 per HNT and the data credit spent is about $180 billion. So data credits are spent whenever an IoT device sends some information through one of the helium hotspots. For the purpose of this video, we will use nice round figures. So we will use 100,000 hotspots and for the data credit spent we will round it to 200 billion. So let us now check the allocation of HNTs to different categories. So the first three categories here POC Challenger, POC Challenges and Witnesses are related to Proof of Coverage Challenge. The next one is Network Data Transfer and then there are two more categories Consensus Group and Security Tokens. So for POC Challenger the, the allocation is 0.95% for POC Challenges 5.31 and Witnesses 21.24 and then for Network Data Transfer uh, it is variable and the maximum is up to 32.5% and this 6% of the HNTs uh, goes to consensus group which is now called validators so they are basically uh, those, these are uh, the validators are responsible for validating the transactions and writing new blocks to the Helium blockchain and then the 34% of the HNTs uh, goes to the Helium corporation and their investors now remember that the, for the hotspot owners, these first four categories are only important, okay? So the amount of HNTs minted per month is now capped at 5 million. So we can use this number to compute the HNTs allocated for different kind, different categories, okay? So these are the numbers, you can perform this calculation. And, but what we are interested in the HNT earned by each hotspot right so this is the HNT is earned total like this is the total amount uh, per month but what we are interested in HNT earned per month per hotspot and for that we know that we will use the number that there are about 100,000 hotspots in the whole world so on average to compute the HNT earned per helium hotspot per month we will simply divide these numbers by 100,000 so as a result these are the HNT is earned per month per hotspot and the sum is 13.75 agents so this earning is coming only from poc or proof of coverage challenges okay now we will dig deeper into the network data transfer and see how much earning is coming from there so the data credit spent as i mentioned earlier is about 200 billion and one data credit has a value of 0 0.00001401 a dollar and this is fixed and it is going to remain fixed throughout the life of helium project so if you can want to convert this 200 billion into some dollar it will become uh, 2 million dollars and the value of hnt i'll use a round number again uh, 10 dollars per hnt it keeps fluctuating and then uh, this 2 million dollar becomes 2.2 million hnt and remember that uh, the maximum amount of HNT that can be mined per month is 5 million. So this becomes now 4% of the total minted HNT. And then we, I also showed you that the maximum allocation for data transfer is 32.5%. And this is much less than that. So there are unutilized amount of HNT which will be just the difference between the maximum value and the currently utilized value. And that would be 28.5% of the 5 million HNT which is one four two five thousand agents so this is the kind of extra agent your unutilized agent which will be distributed proportionately for proof of coverage uh, challenges so we'll show how it works um, let us get back to the um, chart i showed you earlier and remember this these uh, earnings are going to the consensus of validators and the helium investors and the helium corporation so we'll get rid of this part uh, for now so these are the num uh, categories which we are interested as hotspot owners. So 
I just showed you that the amount of unutilized agent is about is about four one four two five triple zero, and these will be uh, distributed proportionately. What does that mean? That means that the ratio uh, it will go through go to these three categories, and the ratio will be 0.95 is to 5.31 is to 21.25. So you you don't need to worry about it. I can show you one example what it means. So let us compute the um, amount that will go to the POC challenger which is 0.95% so to calculate that you have to basically uh, it will be 0.95 divided by sum of these three categories multiplied by the uh, amount of HAT which was unutilized and that will be this number okay and again remember that um, on, on average it will be distributed um, among 100,000 hotspots so the amount that will go for go to each category is uh, for the POC challenger is 0.49 Similarly, for POC challenges, you have to use 5.31 and 21.24. Uh, this will be the agentries, extra agentries that will come because of the unutilized agentries from network data transfer. So now if you add all this up, it becomes 28 agentries per month, per hotspot. So remember, this is the average number and the uh, individual uh, earnings will of course vary. Some will perform much better, some will perform worse. But this is the kind of the average expected uh, agent earnings currently from the proof of coverage challenges. Uh, also remember that uh, this is like average earning per month but rewards are actually distributed at each epoch and that each epoch is about uh, 30 minutes. That's, for, that's what you see in the Helium Explorer page that you get rewards roughly in about uh, every half an hour or so. Okay. Now what will happen uh, if we have full network utilization? So in the last uh, example I showed you that uh, the utilization of the data transport was only 4% so there were unutilized agencies but uh, let us take the example that let's say the data credit spent is 20,000 billion okay and if you compute uh, the percentage it becomes 40% of the agent is minted per month and this is much larger than the 32.5% of the maximum allocation so this means that the network has been fully utilized so there is no unutilized agent is left uh, so you will not have any extra HNT earnings uh, because of uh, lack of network data transfer. So in that case, uh, earnings per month will become $13.75. Plus each of the hotspot will earn some HNTs corresponding to how much data it has transferred from the IoT devices. However, the full network utilization is not going to happen very soon. So you can assume that currently the earning per month per hotspot is going to be about 28 agencies on average. But many of you might have already heard about the August halving. So if you go to the Explorer page, you'll see there is a countdown to August halving for August of uh, 1st August 2021. There was some speculation that it might get postponed, but that is not the case. And uh, the Helium team has also made an announcement on their Discord channel that is going to happen on 1st of August, uh, 12 a.m. Universal Coordinated Time. So the main uh, information here is that the maximum HNT minted per month is going to be brought down from 5 million to 2.5 million, so half of that. However, there are some small changes in the percentage allocation as well as you can see in this table uh, from 0.95 to 90, 5.31 to 5.02, 21.24 to 20.08. So these have been reduced and the data transfer has been increased from 32.5 to a maximum of 35%. So if you sum it up, uh, it becomes 60, earlier it was 60% but currently it is 61% of the total HNT minted. So that, that much of the HNT goes to the Helium owners. So from August 1st of August, you have to use 2.5 million uh, for the total HNT and you can rerun, redo the calculations and you will see that again assuming that uh, 100,000 hotspots in the whole world, the contribution on average, uh, each hotspot will earn about this much of HNTs from proof of, proof of coverage related activities and that sums up to 6.5, earlier it was 13.75 and now Again, we can we should consider the data transfer, and it's going to increase over time as uh, the number of IoT devices is also going to increase over time. So I have assumed that in the coming months it can be let's say 10% of the uh, utilization of the full network, and that gives you uh, unutilized amount of 25%, which would be uh, six to five thousand agencies, and then again it will be distributed uh, proportionately between these three kind of uh, activities. 
and if you run the numbers it becomes this so the sum is uh, 12.75 HNTs from the proof of cover challenge and uh, the some little bit of extra HNT for those hotspots which have performed some amount of data transfer so in summary um, the average HNT earned per month per hotspot before August 2021 was about 28 and from 1st of August 2021 is going to become about 30 and that is about a 54% of reduction. However, note that the individual earnings will vary. Some hotspots will of course perform much better, some will perform worse and their earnings will fluctuate. Uh, but note that there will be further decrease uh, of the HNT earnings with increasing number of miners. You already know that currently uh, every day about 1000 hotspots are being added to the network so there is still the amount of HNT maintained per month is fixed which is 2.5 million so and that, that amount is shared between all the hotspots so the earning of each of the hotspots is going to go down accordingly and finally the next to next halving is going to happen on August 1st of August 2023 so your earning will drop by another factor of 2 after that I hope this information was useful to you. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comment section. That's all for today. Thanks for watching guys and get cryptonized.